Welcome to Rainbow Network Media. Please kindly subscribe to this channel for interesting news. Thank you all. I appreciate. The $1 billion set aside by President Muhammad Buhari from the XX crude account to buy military ammunition was released to the military and shared among the Air Force, the Army, and the Navy under the immediate past chief, uh, service chief. According to the reports, learned that the one billion release, which was uh, greeted with widespread criticism when President Buhari announced so in April 2018, was approved by the National Assembly and shared with the military arms in 2019 without public knowledge to avoid more criticism. The administration of the immediate past chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Burutai, is contemporary in the Air Force, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, and Navy Vice Admiral Ibok Ete Ibas, received the phone, but they del de deliberately choose not to make public knowledge of it. In December 2018, Buratai, while addressing newsmen in Meduguri, Bonu State, had hinted that the money had been released but had not yet got to the army's coffers. You know the process of funding is another major issue. Approval are given, but before you really get the money out is, uh, an, is another challenge. Report gathered from the source in the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation that about $900 million had since been released to the military. From that sum, $496 million was released from the ECA to the Air Force for the purchase of the Super Tucano aircraft from the United States. The aircraft were being expected in 2022. Also, about $381 million was released to the Army and Navy for the purchase of critical equipment. The military chiefs were asked not to state to the public how the money was spent or when it was received, but it came and the three arms of the military got their shares. In case there were mismanagement, the former chiefs should be held accountable because it was their administration. Nobody should be afraid of a probe if you spend the money appropriately, a top source in the defense headquarters told the journalists. Days ago, the National Security Advisor, Major General Babagana Mugano, raised an alarm the funds meant for the purchase of arms to fight Boko Haram and other security challenges in the country were missing. Although under pressure, he later said that he was misquoted. In an interview he granted to the BBC Hausa, Mangono had said, we don't know where the money went to. The president has given out some money for equipment but they are yet to arrive. The president has done his best by assuring that they release exorbitant funds for the procurement of weapons, which are yet to be procured. They are not there. Now the president has employed new hands that might come with new ideas. I am not saying that those that have retired have stolen the phone. No, but the phone might be might have been used in other ways unknown to anybody at present. Mr. President is going to investigate those funds as we are talking with you at present. The state government governors, the governor's forum has started raising questions in the direction uh, of that. The funds are nowhere to be found and the weapons have not been seen and the newly appointed service chief has declared that they have not seen any weapons. 
maybe they are on their on this high seas or they are way coming from wherever they were purchased from the US or Europe. But for now, there is nothing on ground. I have not seen anything. The service chief have also not seen anything. So guys, whatever is your own thoughts concerning this news, please drop by at the comment section and don't forget to subscribe uh, to this channel for more updates. Thank you all for listening.